It is now time for member statements. The member from Oxford. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I'm pleased to rise today to recognize an Oxford hero, George Leslie Mackay. This week would mark Dr. Mackay's 173rd birthday. All these years later, he's still remembered, not just here in Ontario, but throughout, throughout Taiwan as a hero. As a young man, George Leslie Mackay traveled to Taiwan, which was then known as Formosa, as a missionary. He fell in love with this island. He learned the language, married a woman from Formosa named Minnie, and set about helping people in any way he could, including practicing dentistry, pulling over 10,000 teeth. He said, quote, I was pulled by an invisible string to an unknown place. But when that beautiful view of the green mountains on the island came to me, all was cleared that this was where my life would like to be. George Leslie Mackay turn, returned to Oxford several times over the years, and during this time at home, he raised money to build a hospital and schools in Taiwan, including the first school for girls and a university. He also credit, was also credited with helping to create the first newspaper. During his time back in Canada, Dr. Mackay also had a significant impact through his work to fight discrimination and to oppose the Chinese head tax. Today, Dr. George Leslie Mackay's legacy lives on in the schools he created, the modern hospital that bears his name, and in the strong friendship between Taiwan and my riding of Oxford. It is a friendship and a legacy that we will continue to celebrate. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, for allowing me to make the statement today.